Kobe Bryant remains one of the biggest names in the world of basketball, and even though the NBA superstar has passed, he lives on, immortalized by the sport he loves so much. Bryant enjoyed a superb career, and we don't need a reason to reflect back on his spectacular career. Let's take a closer look at the major events of Kobe's career, starting with Kobe's career highlights. You might not know this, but the Black Mamba was actually drafted by the Charlotte Hornets, who immediately traded him for Vlada Divac. There won't be a bigger downgrade in history. He was always destined for greatness, and even as a teenager, Kobe signed an endorsement deal with Adidas a month before he even entered the draft. First up, the beginning of Kobe. In 1997, Kobe stunned the world as a rookie and enjoyed a spectacular season in the NBA. In fact, he even won the NBA Slam Dunk Contest as a rookie and went on to make the NBA All-Rookie second team. It only took him a year in the NBA to make his NBA All-Star debut appearance, and he was joined by some of the biggest names in the sport, like Kevin Garnett, Shaquille O'Neal, Gary Payton, Carl Malone, among others. Next, the three-peat. By 2000, Kobe, a 22-year-old, had already gotten his hands on his first championship title while his friends from high school were graduating college. It was the first championship that the fearsome duo of Kobe and Shaq added to their legacy. He would also go on to make his second All-Star appearance and become part of the NBA All-Defensive First Team. In 2001, the Lakers were unstoppable, and Kobe was a major reason behind their domination. Allen Iverson would give everything to his 76ers side, but the Lakers were simply too good and won the championship back-to-back. -back. 2002 was the year Kobe became a man. It was the best season of his career as he led the Lakers to a three-peat and also won the NBA All-Star Game MVP. They swept the New Jersey Nets comfortably. Moving on, Black Mamba and other honors. Watching Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill, Kobe Bryant gave himself the nickname of Black Mamba in 2003, which really stuck. I am that killer snake and I'm stone cold. And boy, was he right. It was the year he made his fifth NBA All-Star appearance, along with being named in the All-NBA First Team and All-Defensive First Team, too. By 2006, the rebranding was done as he switched from the number 8 jersey to number 24 and produced one of the greatest performances in NBA history, scoring 81 points against the Toronto Raptors. If 2002 wasn't his best season, the argument could be made about his 2008 season. He became the NBA MVP for the 2007-2008 seasons over the the likes of Chris Paul, LeBron James, Kevin Garnett, and Dwight Howard. He also became an Olympic gold medalist at the Summer Olympics in Beijing. On to Black Mamba at his best. In 2009, Kobe put the doubts over his three-peat seasons to bed as he won the Lakers another championship, dunking a massive 61 points against the Knicks before winning the finals MVP and sharing the All-Star Game MVP with Shaq, who was playing for the Suns. Kobe went back-to-back, -back, winning his fifth finals championship in 2010 and won a another finals MVP defeating their biggest rivals, the Celtics, in seven. In 2012, the legend added another Olympic gold to his glittering career, but that USA team was simply outrageous. Twilight and the end. The final few years of Kobe in the NBA were spent chasing a sixth title and were riddled with injuries. After a frustrating couple of years from 2013 to 2015, Kobe decided that enough was enough and the 2015-16 campaign would be his last in the NBA. He sealed his legacy with a dynamic season and his final All-Star appearance was outrageous. His second oldest daughter, Gianna, was with him, and it was simply beautiful. He'd go on to orchestrate a 60-point extravaganza in his final appearance for the Lakers in a splendid win over the Utah Jazz. Ah, what a player. Then, Kobe's scoring breakdown. Few players have had as impressive a resume as Kobe, and his scoring was simply out of this world. We'll be taking a brief look at his impressive scoring and breaking down some of his most impressive performances, starting with the 80-point game. Scoring 20 in a game is as good as it gets. Scoring that regularly is so impressive, but few players can say that they scored 80 points or more in a single NBA game. In fact, only one other man in the history of the sport has scored more than 80. Yeah, Wilt Chamberlain's century remains at the very top. Then the 60-point games. But it wasn't an anomaly for Kobe. He also managed to get five 60-point games throughout his career. That's not normal. The Black Mamba is behind only Wilt Chamberlain in all-time 60-point games list, and, well, that's hardly a fair comparison because Wilt was simply crazy. For Kobe, though, considering that there's a bit of recency bias involved, all of his 60-point performances were outrageous. He outscored the entire Mavs team through three quarters when he dropped the first of his five 60-point performances. So, so good. But his best 60-point performance came in the final game of his career against the Utah Jazz, and it's probably the best way to hashtag Mamba out. Next, the 50-point games. While most people would go in an ascending order, it's important to highlight just how crazy it is for someone to have 19 games where they scored between 50 and 59 
69 points. It's more impressive than going off in a single game and scoring 70. No offense, Devin Booker. But this consistency is unheard of. Perhaps the most iconic 50-point performance from Kobe came against his idol, Michael Jordan, as he officially took the throne from the older MJ in 2003. And lastly, 40-point games. Having a total of 19 50-point performances throughout your career might be truly impressive, but how about the same player managing to record between 40 to 49 points in a staggering 97 games? Kobe's easily one of the greatest scoring talents in the history of the NBA, and could easily make the argument for being the GOAT scorer. On the all-time list, though, he is behind Wilt Chamberlain, duh, and Michael Jordan for most 40-point games. But given the kind of teams he was coming up against, this is truly as good as it gets. Before we finish, some key moments from Kobe's career. Although we've already gone over some of them, we'll just quickly recap the greatest moments for Kobe throughout his career, starting with the three-peat. We really think the three-peat might just be the biggest moment of Kobe's career. It added to his legacy, and even though he was the star before all this, the three-peat was the time he truly became a man and a legend. Then we've got the 81-point game. Look, scoring the second highest number of points in a single game is impressive no matter how you look at it, and the fact that he could have easily gotten more, we won't forgive you, coach, for taking him off. Next, the two-peat. As far as personal achievements go, this is easily up there for Kobe. The three-peat is often credited to Shaq's dominance, and while that's not true, the Lakers did suffer a sharp decline after his move away. Kobe brought back the good days to LA, and boy was he good during those couple of years. Moving on, passing MJ on the all-time scoring list. It wasn't a surprise that the Black Mamba grew up idolizing MJ. His playing style and mannerisms were exactly like MJ's, and the fact that he went past his idol on the all-time scoring list meant that he achieved self-actualization. Lastly, Jersey retirement. This may not be part of his career, but it was definitely one of the highest moments of Kobe's life. Nothing can be better than being recognized for your achievements, and Kobe was honored in the best way possible as both his number 8 and number 24 jerseys were retired by the Lakers, ending with the low points of Kobe's career. For someone as successful as Kobe, he didn't have many low points during his career, but even he wasn't always on it. After all, everyone can have a bad day at the office. Most of these games came early in his career from 96 to 98, as Kobe racked up some minutes but ended the games with zero points 15 times during his career. He also had multiple games with just one point or two, but these were mostly at the end of his career or at the very beginning. And the time after the three-peat was tough too. Kobe struggled a lot after Shaq's departure from the Lakers. It took him a lot of time to help the Lakers recover from that slump, but his success will forever be in finding a way out of those hard times. Not to mention the injury-plagued few years after the two-peat and the second Olympic gold medal, which pretty much led to the decision of Kobe's retirement. But when all is said and done, the Black Mamba was easily one of the greatest players to play the sport, and we hope he's doing it all up there too. RIP Kobe, thank you for the phenomenal memories. That's a wrap for this video. Is Kobe the GOAT for you? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.